All right, everybody, welcome back to another video. It's opening day of New York rifle season, November 19th. The boys and I and my dad got up to the cabin here yesterday, spent tonight, and woke up at 3.45 this morning um, for opening day. So, love this time of year. This is probably my favorite hunt um, of all, all, all the hunting season. So, looking at the weather, it's blustery out, super cold, windy, so, Normally in years past we sat all day, but I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to do that today. So Eli and I are going to be going to the same property, and Isaac's going to be going to a different property. So Eli and I have a little drive in front of us, but we're running a little bit behind, so we're going to hop in the truck and uh, head to the spots.
Well, I've been in the stand for a little over an hour now, and this is the first interview I've done because I've had deer around me all morning. Right at dark I had a bunch of deer up above me, and then a little while later, um, a buck came down off the hill, and it was, was borderline, but just not quite big enough, not quite old enough, I don't think, so I didn't shoot it, but he eventually worked off. And then a few minutes later, back behind me, a ton of doe came piling off the hill. And I tried getting on them quick, but there was a little buck behind them, so. And right now, I got a deer bedded about 100 yards away, so I'm trying to be really quiet, but it is freezing out. It's not windy where I'm at, which is perfect, so. I know where Eli's at, he said it's really gusty, so maybe the deer will come down in this valley here where I'm at and uh, get away from that wind, but so far I've seen a lot of deer, so you can see really far with this snow too, it's perfect, absolute awesome morning to be out, so I'm going to try to stick it out as long as I can, but it is really cold, so who knows how long I'll be able to sit for. One of these times, one of them's got to be a mature buck. I think it's just a matter of time. Alright guys, little update, um, I've seen a pile of deer this morning, but I don't think I can sit in the stand any longer, it is freezing cold out right now. My feet, I can't even feel my feet, my hands are numb. It's not near as windy where I'm at, um, where Isaac and Eli are at, they're just getting pounded by the wind and I think they got down out of their stand early, because it was just blowing so darn hard, but... It's not near as windy here, and I think the deer, what they're doing is they're coming from this top of this ridge where it's really windy, and they've been um, running down the ridge into the valley below me to try to get out of this wind. So that's what I think they're doing, but who knows? They could be getting bumped. I don't know. But regardless, I'm going to get down. I'm freezing and get back to the truck, get warmed up, and then probably be back in the same spot tonight. So. Well, just got set up here for the afternoon. We ended up getting down and went to the cabin to warm up. But Eli and I are back and we got about three hours till dark. So <clears throat> never know, anything can happen. There's still a bunch of shots going on right now. So the deer are definitely still moving. Um, it hasn't really warmed up at all. It's still really cold. So I'm expecting to hopefully see a lot of movement this afternoon and maybe a mature buck. But I guess Eli walking in bumped um two borderline bucks so they're definitely up and moving but just a matter if one comes out in front of us Gonna wrap the afternoon hunt up. Still got a little bit of legal light left, but I wanna walk out with enough light and keep my gun loaded just in case if I see something on the walk out. But ended up seeing a few doe. 
not quite as eventful as my morning, but um, I appreciate you guys watching this video, and if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. We have a lot of tags to fill, so hopefully we'll be putting out a lot of videos. So get subscribed, and I uh, appreciate you guys watching till the end.